Yeah. So the way I learned hedging is, is just think insurance. So it is, it is the exactly what Patrick said is the opposite of a trade, but really hedging is just insurance. So if, if, if you, if your, your stock that you bought or your option that, that you bought is really going on the upside, you really need some protection in case of the downside. So, so anytime you hear, I'm going to hedge, that means I'm going to get insurance in case the, the, the trade goes against me, in case the market goes against me, in case some bad news comes out, in case, in case of insurance, you know, and that's why we buy insurance, right? If my health goes bad, if I have an accident in a car, you know, is there for the downside. So go ahead, um, Palms. I thought you were getting in there. Yeah, I'm, I wanted to, because uh, I'm sure by now uh, our audience is reeling with questions and saying, uh, we've heard what this hedging is, but tell us what that actually looks like, right? So we know that it's insurance um, due to the uncertainty of the market potentially. Yep. And so the next question that I believe our audience is having is, are we buying value stocks to counter uh, maybe a high tech play. What does it actually mean, and what, does what that is what like? is a, a tangible example of insurance? Yeah, the stock. So, so Patrick mentioned it, and I can give another. And Patrick, you can give even more. Um, Patrick mentioned buying puts from an option perspective. If if you're long, meaning you believe the stock is going to go up. What you could do because the stock is going up and let's say you're up two or 300% and you are afraid that we're going to have a new president that's coming in office and will, you know, change some policies and things of that nature. You could buy some puts and a put is the opposite of stocks going up. This is bad in a small percentage that, you know, the market could go down. So you can literally buy puts as um, a, insurance play, a hedge and play. The other thing you can do is buy a different sector. So let's say for instance, the tech sector was really, really hot in 2020. And you're making a gang of money in the tech sector. But let's say uh, that the industrials were not as hot. They were, you know, uh, medium and performing. So instead of just piling all of your money in the tech sector, you may hedge and buy some other sectors that, that have been performing a little less as insurance in case the tech comes down, you're making money in the other sector. But I know, Patrick, you have more to say. So go ahead, Patrick. Well, I would say that if you're going to hedge a portfolio of stocks, even, well, let's just say you're, you're looking at the NASDAQ 100 um, and in terms of tech stocks, um, probably the, the, the direct uh, hedging tool would be to buy a put option um, on the NASDAQ 100 and over over and then have a have that option uh, expire over the what you anticipate would be the 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 term the time of uncertainty for the Nasdaq 100, um, and that would be a direct hedge. Right. However, there is a rotational hedge, as uh, Troy you were just describing, where you might think the tech industry has really run up, but the other industries have not, such as maybe some of the manufacturing, some of healthcare. the healthcare, healthcare. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you might want to look at Caterpillar, for example. Yeah. Industrial. Uh, Boeing. Boeing. Uh, maybe, some of, maybe some of the, the airline stocks as, yeah, yeah. Yeah. as you hear this reopening trade. So mm -hmm. you might want to sell some of, so some of the gains, not all of them from the, uh, from the tech sector, such as you might want to sell some of your QQQ, NASDAQ 100 stocks, and then buy maybe your Caterpillar, your your Boeings and, and airlines and, and things of that nature that have not run up as dramatically. Yeah. yeah, the main thing is I want people to understand what hedging is. I mean, I, I literally went years 
hearing this term hedging. And I, didn't, I really didn't understand it. And when people described it and said selling puts and all of that, that kind of went over my head because I did not understand options. But when you say insurance, people understand insurance, you know, just in case things go wrong, you need something, you know, to protect and that downside. And that's really what it is. I think we, uh, oh, oh, go ahead, Palms, because I'm going to go to the final topic before we wrap up the show. Yeah, before we migrate over, I want to uh, uh, help my audience because uh, I know that they're 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 still on the edge of their seats with all of this information that's being provided. So essentially, I want to give just a demonstration, and uh, I'd like for the both of you to just chime in on it. Okay. So let's say there's three plays that are currently in the portfolio, right? Uh, and I'm gonna say um, this individual has. Um, Salesforce, NVIDIA, and Tesla, okay? They want to know when I'm hedging and I look at financials, uh, can I look at uh, uh, Bank of America, for example? Uh, can I look at Visa? Can I look at uh, Wells Fargo? Uh, what are some examples uh, and we're not giving financial advice, obviously, but what would be some of those examples of names that our audience can begin to kind of think about as they're going in and investing and so they're diversifying their portfolios? Patrick. Okay, so if you're looking at diversifying your portfolios, um, I, I, Palms, I assume that you're, you're, you're saying that maybe you're trying to diversify away from tech. Am I correct? Based on our conversation thus far, we were using the example of tech, yes. Yes. So some of the names I would look at, um, I would look at maybe the best of breed of the financials. That would be the Goldman Sachs. Okay. JP Morgan. JP Morgan is also very good. Yep. Um, and in terms of industrials, again, I really like Caterpillar. Okay. We all do in the recovery play. I mean, that's oh, yes. the ultimate recovery play is Caterpillar, right? Yes. Right. And yes. for the airline stocks, I like Delta and United Airlines. Oh, you left out Southwest, one of the most profitable airlines of South, all time. Southwest too. But okay. um, yeah, you might be paying a little bit too much for growth. So yeah. mm. I, I tend to gravitate towards Delta. Since I fly Delta, 